Was. You know why I don't want to fight him. Yes, sir. I was reading about it again this evening. Some men collect butterflies, some stamps. My hobby has always been sports, sporting events. That is. Trooper Thorn quits ring. Heavyweight challenger hangs up gloves after fatal knockout. Vows he will never fight again. It's a very understandable reaction. Still, the papers all say it was an accident. Just one of those things. I mean, it's just one of those things in the scrapbook, but... now when you carry it around in here... Tony Godello was a good egg. Nice little wife and home. A couple of kids. Clean fighter. But I didn't go in there to outbox him. I went in there to beat his brains out. To drive him into the canvas, to murder him. And that's what I did. For what? Purse. Piece of the gate. Lousy money. And now money is behind your trouble with Dana. I think I'm afraid to fight him. All the friends I've made here, even my wife. Well, aren't you in a way? Did you ever kill a man? Well, I have, and all this talk about her big fortune. It's not that important. Perhaps it is to her. See, it, it must be strange to you from America, but it's an old, old custom here. And believe me, it's a good custom. The fortune means more to her than just the money. Well, to me, it isn't. It isn't worth fighting for. Is your wife's love worth fighting for? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I can't fight or won't fight unless I'm mad enough to kill. And if that means losing her, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't love me enough. Mm, it's a difficult situation. But I think you'll find the right answer in God's good time. And when that time comes, I hope I'll still be here. You're not figuring on leaving, are you? It's a possibility. You see, my bishop is coming tomorrow on his annual visit. And I've got such a small congregation, just two or three people at the service. He may transfer me. Place wouldn't be the same without you, Padre. Mm. Elizabeth and I just love this place. We were born here too, you know. Oh, well, the bishop's a good egg. Maybe it'll be all right. Oh, by the way, don't underestimate Danaher. He may be clumsy, but he's got a tremendous right and a jaw of granite. Yes. I did a little bit of boxing in my time. Oh. You won't be laughing now, will you? It was a trinity. Lightweight champion, 1900. Oh, the year doesn't matter. It's long, long ago. All right. <laughs> now, by the way, would you would you join me in a glass of? Oh no. No. You'll be in training now, of course.
Did you have any supper? Nope. I'm not hungry. The drink sometimes does that to a man. I haven't had anything to drink. If you want to know, I was talking to the vicar, Mr. Playfair. That's strange. I had a long talk with Father Lonergan. Woman of the house! Where's me Tay? Mary Kate! Save your breath, boy, save your breath. She's gone from you, and small wonder. What are you talking about? Where is she? She came tapping at me during the sun was up. Will you drive me to the train, says she? Why? Me very question, why, says I? Because I love him, says she. I love him too much to go on living with a man I'm ashamed of. What time was this? Oh, in time for the Dublin train. Saddle up my horse, will you please? Saddle his horse? <laughs> I'll have no part in helping you to put more shame on her. <laughs> Sadless horse. And might I suggest, Mr. Costello, the train already being four and a half hours late? No, it's, it's, high time it's that... my fault, Mr. O'Bailey, that there's a hurling match at Ballygar and that the champions of all Ireland are playing... you knew your country's history as well as your claim to know it, Mr. Bailey, you'd know that the Mayo hurlers haven't been beaten west of the Shannon for the last 22 years. Sure, That's, a lie. Lie, Mr. That's a lie, Costello! Oh, I hope it means... Donner, Voicey versus the 